Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to Try It Tuesday. So for today's video, I wanna try out a couple of lipsticks that I have here. I wanna try out the different colors and I'd really like to get your opinions about which ones you think work best for me. This is by a brand that I had never heard of called Berry M and it is a British brand. And it was actually recommended by one of you, my viewers, when you saw my quest for lip stains and sort of long wear lip products. So someone had suggested that I go and check out one of their iconic products, which is a lip stain, and it kind of comes in this really funky neon color, and it's heat activated, so when you put it on your lips, it changes to a color that's sort of specifically for you. Now, in the end, I didn't buy it, because when I was looking at the reviews, a lot of people said, yes, it does offer long wear benefits, but the color's kind of weird, so I decided I wasn't going to take a chance on that, and instead, I kind of poked around the website to see what else they had to offer. Now, they had tons of stuff and all kinds of makeup, but I was zeroing in on the lipsticks, and they have a couple of ranges there, too, like they have... A matte version which I think they call velvet but I'm never gonna go anywhere near matte because I'm all about the glow so I went for the satin version so this is not a luxury brand so I figured for the sake of five pounds yes each of these lipsticks is only five pounds I figured it was worth a try now one of the things that I loved about this website is how you shopped for colors now they offer six colors in this range and you can actually try them on on the website so they have a great try on feature that obviously it picks you up on the camera and it puts the color on you and it was fantastic and I kind of went, okay, I dig this. So of the six colors, I originally picked up two. And then, spoiler alert, I liked them so much I went back and picked up another two. Now, their range isn't massive. They tend to be in that sort of pinkies, raspberry uh, spaces, lighter or darker. Um, and I did manage to get one red, I think. Um, but they kind of vary from light to dark. And of the six, I bought four and I'm now wishing I'd bought a fifth. But I want to try them all on today because they're all subtly different and I'd really like to get your opinion. Which one looks best? which one works best. So of the four, two have been in my handbag now for a couple of weeks and two are brand new that I haven't even used yet. So I'm going to try them on in the order of light to dark because it will get harder with each pass of new color on the lips. But let's get started and see how it works. Now, I have nothing on my lips right now. I have a clear kind of a Clarins lip conditioner sort of thing, which I've just taken off. So my lips naturally have quite a bit of color. So when I put lipsticks on, it, it can change it quite dramatically, but my base color is pretty good. So sometimes I just wear a clear balm and it looks like I'm wearing lipstick. So the very first one we're gonna start with here is called Lustring. And this is what the color looks like. So pretty. And this is one of the ones that, uh, that I've had and I've been using for a bit. So that was number one, which is Lustring. So the next one is called Sweetie. Okay. It really glides on when it's, when it's brand new. Oh, it's so nice. So this is definitely has a lot more punch, but it's still in that sort of pinky territory. Vibrant. Okay, the next one is called Oomph. And yeah, you guessed it, it's got a bit of oomph. So this is quite red. Ah, you don't want to make a mistake with this. Okay, that definitely has a bit of oomph to it. Vibrant, bold. What do you think? I kind of like it, although it's not a color I would wear very often because it's so bold. Okay, and the last one is called Scandalous, and this is the darkest of them all. I feel that my lips are getting a little darker as we go. And this is the last one. You can see I've worn this one a fair amount too. This is quite a dark color and it's one that I would often maybe layer something on top of it. So all in all, I love the lipsticks. They're hydrating, they're easy to apply, they glide right on, and I think all in all they have pretty good longevity compared to most lipsticks. So 
for a fiver, I think these are great and I will probably order more. Can you hear the jingle jangle of the dog? <laughs> Hi Jackson. Um, I'm not really sure which of the colors I like the most. I do find this quite dark. So sometimes maybe I'll put a lip balm over it uh, to give it a little bit of color just to sort of brighten it up a little bit. The red one has a lot of punch to it and not something I'm familiar with wearing, so I'd like to know if you think I can pull it off. Uh, the first one's probably the one I wear the most, and the second one I think is interesting too. So anyway, these are great formulations. I will certainly be buying more. The lightest of all of them, which I think is called Undiscovered, I don't have yet. Now, when it comes to purchasing, this is where it becomes problematic. I did buy these directly from the UK site, but they do not ship to Ireland, which I find incredibly annoying. They ship to the US, you will pay a lot for that, but you can at least get it there. So I instead shipped it to a friend who brought it when he was visiting. Um, I also have a mail forwarding company that I can use that gets it up to Ireland from a UK address. But again, you're paying more for that. So you end up paying way more for shipping than you do for the product itself. So if you live in the UK, yay, you guys should check these products out. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really hope that you will leave comments down below and tell me which of these lipsticks I can pull off. You tell me which one can I do, which one looks best on me, and should I be sporting a lot more often. So if you've tried these lipsticks or any of the products by Mary M and you like them, let me know because they're a great value and I haven't tinkered in any other of their makeups, but I love finding brands that deliver that don't cost a lot of money because I'm sick of paying a fortune for everything and I love mixing those sort of drugstore and the more accessible brands. So I would love to know if you have any other recommendations out there for me. So leave all of that stuff down below. So thanks again for joining today and I will see you at the next video. Bye.